Okay, so I'm at this cafe. Um, I didn't look it up before I came here. I didn't read any reviews, but when I walked by the window display, as soon as I saw the cakes, I was immediately drawn in. So I had to pull in. I kind of merged into this store without even looking at the name. So you have to put the name across the screen because I really have no idea. Um, the ambience is very like it's like a terrarium in here. Like there's lots of plant life. It's probably all fake, but it looks cool. And um, yeah, and just really like hip people and very posh kind of environment. This is close to Harrods. I was just leaving the Natural History Museum. And what made me stop in my tracks is I saw that they had Tres Leches cake, which happens to be my favorite cake. Between that and cheesecake and tiramisu, it's, I'm torn, basically, and they have all three. But um, their Tres Leches looked really good. Then they have a unique take on it as well. They have a saffron Tres Leches. So I think that's probably what I'm going to try, but I always like to ask the waiter what their top choice is in case there's something I missed. Um, so I'm going to ask him when he comes over. And then the other thing I'm really loving is all of their coffee uses Yergachev, which is uh, an Ethiopian coffee. So I love that. I end up getting a flat white, but now I'm regretting it because they also have this one that has a Japanese sugar that I've seen before on menus and had never tried. So maybe after I'm done this flat white, I might get that as well. Okay, so now my issue is the flat white was really good and I'm not sure if my second coffee will be that or if I'm going to try this thing with the Japanese sugar in it. I'm very curious about this Japanese sugar, so it probably will end up being that. But that flat white was really tempting to have a second one of, so we'll see. Um, and they also have cortados, which is my favorite way to have coffee. So this is tough. I really don't know why I didn't get a cortado because when I'm in Canada, nobody has even heard of a cortado, except if you're like in Toronto, right? So unfortunately, I'm in nobody knows what it is, and I always have to explain to them how to make a cortado. But here, people just know it, which is fantastic. I should have done that. Something really weird about, and that's the people before me got a chocolate cheesecake, and he brought them a cup of ketchup to go with it. I don't know. I'm freaked out by that. Now I want my cake and they won't come. And I think it's because I'm holding my camera and they're intimidated by it and they think they don't want to interrupt me, but I want cake, so please interrupt. People haven't even asked me which cake I want. Everybody else has their cakes and now everybody's phones are going crazy because the government is testing emergency lines here in England and every phone in this place is going nuts right now. And the emergency is that I don't have a cake yet. Okay, big update. Everybody else here has their cake. I haven't come and even asked me yet. And I want to say one other thing because at first I had high hopes for this place. But they brought out the sugar in this amber bottle. Sounds like a cute idea. Except for this narrow nozzle, try to teaspoon out some sugar in this thing into your coffee. Good luck, because I've just seen like two other people spill it all over the place. If I were not so intrigued by the saffron tres leches, I think I would have left by now. And I'd take my business elsewhere and never come back here. At this point, the waiter actually refuses to acknowledge me. So I think he's mad at me. But the feeling is mutual. I'm gonna go slice a piece of that cake to myself really soon here. I can see the knife. I can see the plates. I can do this. Um, can I see the menu again? Yeah, sure. Okay. So now I have a dilemma because I'm so angered now that I think only a chocolate cheesecake will cheer me up. And it looks like a very good chocolate cheesecake that they have. I don't know the saffron tres leches. She says it's good, but I'm worried I'm going to disappoint myself. The last time I had a dessert with saffron, it was a saffron ice cream in Toronto, and it wasn't good. But Tres Leches is so good. 
and this is an interesting, unique take, take on it. So I'm considering that. She said her favorite is a Neapolitan cake. I looked at it, I don't like it. So I've eliminated that choice. I think I'm gonna go with the saffron tres leches. Their chocolate cheesecake looked really amazing. I can get chocolate cheesecake anywhere, really. That's not too hard to find back home in Canada. So I'm gonna get the saffron, um, the saffron, uh, Tres leches, and then I also ordered the Okinawa latte, which has Okinawa sugar, um, which I've never had before. I've seen it on things. I've just never ordered it on anything at a restaurant, so I'm going to try that. And it says it has hojicha. I don't know what hojicha is. I'll Google it and find out and let you know. Ah, so hojicha is like a really high-grade um, green tea from Japan. So it's going to be a green tea with Japanese sugar. Uh, latte with some espresso and the espresso is the yoga chef Ethiopian coffee so this should be good actually I'm gonna try that let's go for it that along with the saffron cake should be quite unique we'll see I don't know how well they'll go together but I'm gonna try they know now that I want more because I asked for a menu but then they just went away. Okay, cake order is in, latte order is in, things are happening. Okay, my waiter has been swapped out for a waitress, and she's more on the ball. She even came and like refreshed all my cutlery, so I'd have brand new cutlery, which was, I didn't even touch the other cutlery. But anyway, she gave me brand new cutlery so that when the cake comes, I'm ready to roll. And I think she just walked over to go get it. So my Okinawa latte is here. This has that. Oh, and my cake is here too. Wow. Both together. Great. Thanks a lot. Okay, so the Okinawa latte is this. Okay, and it has the sugar in it already, so I probably don't need to add any more sugar. I'll try it out and see. Interesting. It's like a, I mean, it's a matcha latte essentially at its base, but it's so much more than that too. I'm, I have a hard time describing flavors in words. I, sometimes I just say you have to just try it for yourself. If I'd seen this on the menu again, I'd probably get it again. Okay. Let's see about the cake, though. So, here's how it looks. That's very normal for tres leches, that kind of, like, milking down kind of thing. Because tres leches cake is full of all sorts of cream and milk and stuff. It's actually saturated and soaked in milk. It's nice. I think I just don't love saffron in desserts because for some reason it makes it a little soapy for me. Actually my second bite is better. Okay, I quite like it. I don't think I would get these two together, but um, this is a very unique take on tres leches. It's, I mean, it's a Mexican dish, and they just turned it Persian. It's quite amazing, though. is that with this matcha latte they garnish it with some of that fancy green tea leaves on top and it looked pretty and I, I know they want to garnish it it's a good idea to garnish dishes that are being ordered to make the you know the eyes really do feed the appetite the thing is though is that I'm getting a lot of bitter teas tea leaves in my mouth and I just wish it wasn't garnished that way maybe something different 
Um, and the trestle cheesecake, that's turned out pretty good. I'm liking that. Yeah, I don't regret that. It was good. Good choice. So now that I'm done, I guess the lesson in all this is it's nice to try new things, and I love that. Um, because I would have regretted not trying it. However, when in a bad mood, don't say no to chocolate cheesecake. That's what I need to learn.